Um, in unit three of module two, we are looking at the market strategies for growth. Like we uh, discussed in planning, in planning phase or business planning, you should always include the strategies for business growth. But most businesses, when they start, they start small and in time they begin to grow. So it has to be captured during the planning phase of your business, the strategies for business growth. It can be a, a, a business that is just in one room or maybe a very small uh, uh, clientele. But if you don't have a focus, if you don't plan, when the growth of your business comes, you will not be able to cope with it. So there are some common strategies for uh, business growth. Market penetration. That is, you know, assuming that the market is already saturated and you are coming, you are new in the, in the, in the system or in that particular market or in the environment. There are very many strategies how you can penetrate the market and now uh, uh, become it become eventful and you'll be part of the, uh, the your company will now start reaping from the market but you need to do some work in the first instance there is an issue of uh, you can do that by reducing the price of your your product you reduce the price people will pay attention to your to your product people will give attention to it to find as long as your product is of good quality if you reduce and let them know why if you, you reduce the price so there is your price re reduction can increase your market share because uh, whenever people hear that there are sales or the prices are, are reduced everybody want to take advantage of um, uh, reduced prices you can also increase your promotion the type and the level of your promotion and the coverage of promotion then you can widen your distribution and you can also entice your competitors customer you can do so by market expansion when you have the product expansion for instance there is no new market there is a new product so you can introduce another product and uh, try to capture new uh, new market for your product and that will increase your uh, clientele there is a diversification strategy you can aside from the products you have been given you are given to people you can look around do another a feasibility study to expand your market you can it can even be in the packaging of your product you can now have different uh, 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 types of product or entirely new product when you have new product it can help in the growth uh, strategy there is issue of acquisition there is a issue of acquisition when you maybe your product is uh, your market is growing and maybe there is a, another of your competitors that is not doing well you can acquire that uh, that company by buying it over you can expand my uh, uh, growth through that then you have a uh, market segmentation you know is the act of uh, dividing your uh, market into segments it can be the segment more, more can deal with the uh, location uh, it can deal with the type of uh, product you are you're you're, you're selling it can uh, uh, be the type of uh, uh, client you know you have so you divide the market basically best uh, um, um, based on patronage based on the target market or even based on the location of your uh, company 
So with that, you can have different uh, types of uh, uh, patronage or clientele. Um, there is a, in the uh, market uh, expansion, you can do uh, franchising. Franchising business, franchising business is a multi-unit uh, business where the franchisor, the original owner of the business, will now sell the intellectual property and the strategy and the processes to another party or a group of people. And the units are multiplied into uh, various uh, uh, units and they, they, they will be doing that same business replicating your business under the guidance of the franchise so they, you can have many franchisees under the guidance of the franchise store. and you do that to uh, because it's quite expensive you can do that to increase uh, the the finances or to capture as a uh, 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 as much as uh, the market space in conclusion, we say that the market growth aimed at winning larger market share, even at the expense of uh, uh, short-term earnings. You know, instead of uh, you selling, let's make our money. Uh, because for each expansion, for each strategy, it involves financing. It involves putting resources there. It involves putting in, uh, employing more people, recruitment. So it is, is a quite um, an expensive. But if you are able to do that and your market enlarges, profit will start uh, you know, coming in in that measure. Small business, uh, business owners generally love the word growth because a growing business is a thriving business. However, Many small business owners uh, discovered a hard way that business growth may not uh, may resolve in uh, problems because sometimes you want something to grow and they uh, uh, grow out of your control. Even in a, 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 a family, in social settings, sometimes people want to bring up, mentor somebody and try to help to bring up people. The people now overgrow and they think that they are so big now and you can no more control them so it's in business you the business if you don't have all the strategies to control it it can overgrow you and the growth will now become a problem to you until we meet again say well and keep reading